Welcome to another episode of Premium Solutions Exterior. Today we are in the Mill Creek area. Uh, we are about to do some repairs, um, some roof and gutter cleaning, some soft washing in this home. Uh, also, we want to do a, some uh, chimney repair, which is I'm going to point it out. Well, first of all, I am here, you know, and would like to show you what I'm going to do first. When you guys to take a quick look at this crack here, okay, I'm going to change this piece of bridge cut and there there are a few more uh -huh. broken bridge cut and these those two and actually you can see it from here how the water can get in see there Look at that one. So I'm gonna replace these two. Also, I can clearly see from here all the way down is full of algae. Can you guys see how the black staining is running towards this gutter. So I'm gonna apply the uh, soft washing here and also there as you guys can see it the moss see we we'll have to clean the roof all the way there naturally also you can see it now what I'm gonna do here is uh, usually we don't remove the the moss we kill it from the root and the only way to kill all of the algae and lichen like that is by applying what we call a soft washing so the soft washing allows to penetrate all the way down through the root of the moss in that way the moss will die eventually you know uh, unfortunately a lot of people there are looking for an instant result an immediately result and unfortunately is well people usually what they do they got a, a wire brush and they start to scrapping all over the roof now what that that method does is that they remove at the same time the granules that it sits on top of this roof and by removing the granules on top of this roof is technically <clears throat> we are causing damage to the roof we don't want that we don't do that so the best method and the best way to deal with algae and lichen like that is by applying what we call soft washing and <clears throat> that soft washing will penetrate uh, that moss and will kill it from the root now this process it takes time two three weeks maybe four weeks depending on the weather but eventually it will die and actually we're gonna do a test we're gonna apply the the soft washing we're gonna wait a few minutes and you guys will see that the green moss will turn in gray or white and that means that the algae and the lichen is dying so uh, stay tuned at this video and at the very end we want to replace all of the existing gutters all right i hope you guys can enjoy this video
okay so this is how it looks so far already clean this side this side as you guys can see there is no more leaf on the gutter see around the skylight looks all clean clean and the reason that i just um, <clears throat> stop for a few minutes is because i'm gonna show you a few things first of all this is how it looks the gutter gutter is all clear uh, at the end we're gonna replace the gutter but for now i uh, pointed out this one because the soft washing will need all of the water will be running straight into the gutter running all the way down there which is the downspout now <clears throat> before i continue when i was blowing the roof is i found some few things that caught my attention and if you guys can see in the very middle of the screen right there that is a nail <clears throat> see that is a nail and that is about <coughs> three feet from the garden <coughs> excuse me that is one nail now walking towards that way we want to see another one in the middle of the screen look look at this one here see that is a nail so on this side back side of the home I noticed that there were two nails popping up. You can barely see it there. And there. And as you guys can see, the moss is around there. Now I am pretty sure that this roof is leaking. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the soft washing on this side of the home first. Uh, we're gonna do a test with our uh, <coughs> algae and lichen killer in liquid solution. So we can see the difference how the solution works on this roof that is pretty much full of algae and lichen and also moss but for now i just want to point it out this one one nail two nails and that is actually a bit from the gutter all the way there one two three all about three and a half feet three and a half so at the very end we're gonna replace those shingles to prevent any kind of leaking before the rainy season starts all right <clears throat> it's time to get back to work
the color of the moss is changing see that means that it's time well, obviously it only takes time because uh, it's just turning in a different color as you guys can see um, it will die and eventually it will blow up by the wind this is how it look and I just spread just a little bit but um, I will be doing this all over and you guys will see how it looks at the very end look was on one side of the home you know um, we already spread the mosquito as you guys can see how it's turning see these two colors here that one is dying like see different colors there it's dying See, this one is dying. That one, that one, wanna taste just one more coat. As you guys can see, actually, this is a great example of how the liquid is working. It's just turning on a light green. It means that it's dying. See, this one, this two, this one is already dying. Uh, see over here that color is dying look at this one here see it's even more visible because it's dying Let me see if I can remove it. See, it comes easy. Easy. The nature will be doing the rest. I'm gonna take time so the roof will be absorbing all of the liquid. And technically, they're gonna die. Let me take a quick look at this area here. All right, time to do the another one.
I just want to point it out this one. You know, there were a lot of moths uh, below the skylight, the same as the one in the back side. But I just want to point it out this one, how this solution is killing the 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 moss. So see, it comes easy, easy. So the the rain and the uh, air will be removing all of this moss as long as it's dead. Once this moss is dead, the wind will blow off all of this um, moss. See? It's easy. easy to remove it. We're gonna leave it like this so in that way it will be working properly so you guys can see see those white marks you guys see it right there right there see sign okay so this is how it looks now after all of this uh, soft washing you know the mossing algae killer this is how it looks on there we actually I apply a lot of moss killer in powder on that side underneath those branches working it's working now so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna work on the chimney uh, but I just want you guys to know uh, below the skylight there were a lot of moss so I apply more moss killer and powder all the way to the ribs to the, to the ridge so the rain will be spreading the moss killer all the way towards the gutter and this way all the way towards the, the gutter in the front all right it's now to work in this chimney this is how it looks better face of the project now i'm gonna work on the chimney <laughs> 